good morning i welcome you all for this anderson hall prayer for the glory of the lord let's sing blessed assurance jesus is mine which will be screened I would like to share about the power in the name of Jesus. One non-believing American couple named their daughter Atheist Evolution. Bob and his wife thought they'd be creative and named one of their daughters Peaches Honey Blossom Charlotte. She says she hates that name. Rock star David Bow called his son Zoe but Zoe didn't like, so he changed it to Duncan. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones named his daughter Dandelion. She tells everyone her name is Angela. A Vietnamese man named his son My Pat, which means find 6,500, which is how much it costs for him ignoring the country's two-child policy. Malaysia has even banned some of the names like Ah Kong, which means unsound mind, Sam Seng, which means gangster. The thing is, names are important. Even in the Bible, we find how God has given importance, significance for certain names. Some people like Sarai, Abraham, change their names to indicate something significant. But the most significant name of all is the name of Jesus. I believe that there is immeasurable power in the name of Jesus. We read in Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11. Let me read for you. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name of Jesus. 
every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Some will bow out of love for that name while others will bow because of fear but the power of Jesus will be evident to all the creations whether they bow down out of love for him or out of fear God's name is so magnificent that will be glorified and all the creations of this world will witness the significance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In John chapter 14 verses 13 to 14 we find that and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name. I will do it. Just because God has promised that, it does not mean that if I ask anything out of lust, that I will be able to receive it. We need to ask in accordance with the will of the God. And we also need to have a relationship with God the Father. Bible says he is Abba the Father. The one who enjoys this relationship need to understand that we can use the name of Jesus. And we need to acknowledge, you and me need to acknowledge that you and me are the child of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? You and me need to have to believe that Jesus Christ is our Father, our Savior. He has sacrificed his life for each one of us on the cross and he has redeemed us and he has given the privilege of enjoying this relationship with him. When we enjoy this relationship, definitely I believe whatever we ask in the name of Jesus in accordance with his will will be granted to us. May God help each one of us to enjoy this relationship. The Bible says there is no other way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the light. And if we choose to follow his ways, definitely the light will shine, his light will shine upon us. When you and me are the children of Jesus, that the name of Jesus gives us and access to all the authority and power. Nothing can stand in the way, absolutely nothing. Whatever we ask in his name, he will do it, so that the Father may be glorified. There is a power and authority in his name. There is a character named Daniel in the Bible, who enjoyed this relationship with God the Father, how he sustained that relationship with God the Father through prayer. And we read in the Bible that he prayed every day. In spite of all legal restrictions imposed in his time by the rulers and authorities who were in power, he continued to enjoy that relationship with him through prayer. And what was the punishment given to him? The authorities instructed him to be thrown into the lion's den. But the power in the name of Jesus Christ saved him from the mouth of the lion. He was safe in the lion's den. That's the power of Jesus Christ. And that's the privilege of his children. Signs and wonders were done through the name of Jesus. In Acts we read about Peter. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Immediately when the name of Jesus was uttered, 
the lame started walking. His name even today is powerful enough to do signs and wonders. Name of Jesus also answers our prayers. How God has answered Daniel's prayer, the same God, the Bible says, he is not a respirator of persons, he is the same yesterday, today and forever, he is an unchanging God, he is all powerful, he has all might over the entire thing in this world and whatever we ask in his name, according to his will, through our prayer, definitely it will be answered so that the name of the Lord be glorified and the Father be glorified. Only commitment we need to make is we all need to accept him as our savior so that we'll enjoy that very nice relationship of the father and the child. And that relationship when we are assured of Definitely, we need not worry about anything around us, anything which is happening around us. Even the world around us may be dark. We may be facing a lot of challenges, but the power in the name of Jesus will definitely help you and me to face all the challenges successfully in the name of Jesus. And also it will help us to face the world successfully. May all, take a, may all of us take us a decision today to commit ourselves to enjoy this wonderful relationship with Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we pray? Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank and praise you. Lord, we thank for this wonderful institution, for all the blessings you have showered upon this college, Master. Lord, we pray for people who are in authority, our principal, bursar, deans, and all the officials of this college. I also pray for the teaching and non-teaching members of this great institution and also the student community. Lord, I place each one of us into your mighty hand. Lord, as we have meditated about the power in the name of Jesus, help each one of us to enjoy the relationship with you as Abba the Father and help us to get our answered prayers answered so that your name may be glorified and each one of us with your name will be able to face this world and whatever the challenges we face I believe in the name of Jesus we will be able to overcome everything Lord, we ask this in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.